Marlene Snicker, if you will, please. I've been wanting to do that all week, but I've been using the stairs. Okay. Uh, and what we thought we'd do is very quickly share just a few of the items that people suggested for Picnic uh, 2010. And you can continue sending them even well after this. So if you get a thought a week from now in the shower, please send it for themes, ideas to pursue. And, you, and you've looked at some and picked some. I give right? three to you. Three to me, okay, great. And we want to do them all because we know we have to wind up. Right. So this is you your first? Okay, the first one is the grand design. And this is based on the work of Leonard Mladenov, who is a physicist and a writer, who's working on uh, Stephen Hawking on his new book, The Grand Design, which deals with the grand design. I can't think of a better place to have him talk with that book won't be done by then. Is here. So that, that's kind of interesting. He says, what about neuromarketing? It's something about brains, and we, we wanted to highlight it more this year, but uh, this is definitely a very interesting topic. And developments in China, I'm not sure if they're connected, but um, neuromarketing and developments in China. Uh, this one, everything's so fast now. Slow life, with technology speeding up our lives, how do we slow it down? I don't, I'll be on that panel. I'm, I'm working on that. So. We're going to slow down in a minute. Um, tell us more about narrative. It was not enough. What do you think? Narrative. I don't know. Well, I, I, everything. Narrative has been running through all three days, dipping here, dipping there. Whether it's narrative, the story of real people. So I think you know it has to be expanded. But I think that certainly because the story is what moves us, uh, never just the technology or the software. So more narratives. Uh, this one I have to deal with a lot. I think it, uh, it's going to get even more powerful and potent and more of a hot potato than it already is. The ethics of games. Mutation. Can anybody explain to me? <laughs> is somebody in the, in the room who put it on a post-it? Mutation? More matchmaking activities. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. And Okay, I think this is enough. That's enough, okay. This is not the end for it. So I, I assume you'll post them all, be able to review yeah. them, and study, and respond, and vote. We will maybe. do those sessions where we all map them in groups, and then we will <laughs> bring it on. Now we definitely will follow up on this. Um, the process for next year will be a bit more open than we have used to do that. So um, be in contact with us, and we will, if you're a registered, we will contact you about uh, topics for 2010. And I have just one last thing to do. Uh, all the video you see, all the speakers who moved up here so smoothly all week, the fact that I didn't fall, that I more or less knew where I was supposed to be, um, that a lot of stuff is happening behind the scenes is due to a lot of people you haven't seen. And I just want to say their names because they've been absolutely astounding. And if they're here, they could come out and stand up or pop their heads out. Let me, try. Let me, let me see the names first, please. And then I want you to kill them with applause. CJ, Richard, Quinton, Yano, Matthias, Mark, Johannes, Sien, Monique, and Bas. Please give them a, a monstrous round of applause. behind the screens for the last year working on this picnic. This is Kitty who's there. She didn't want to be on stage. <laughs> she <was> really <laughs> so successful in making this picnic the best picnic we ever had. Thank you very much and see you all back in 2010. <laughs> My last 